Hi there folks, welcome to this tutorial on how to use iTunes as your ID3 editor. Use iTunes to do your tagging, so you don't have to have a separate program for your tagging. Especially if your podcast is only going to live on iTunes, then you don't have to worry about making it uh, user-friendly to everything. If you make it user-friendly to iTunes and that's going to be your only podcatcher, then you're going to be in good shape if you use this one. So if I open up iTunes, you'll see that I dragged a tutorial example in here. And so if we open this up and look at the information where it says get information, uh, when it comes in, it may not have this correct format. So if you click on get information and then file, you'll see down here it says format MPEG-1, layer 3. That is actually MP3. That's good. But if yours is not set up to import as an MP3, let me show you how to set that up. You go into iTunes and the Preferences. You're going to want to you go to General and these Import Settings, regardless of which drop-down menu you've chosen here, the Import Settings, you want to change this so that very often it starts out the default is AAC encoder but we want to change that to an MP3 encoder so that you're ready for your podcast and then usually this 128 is good quality go ahead and select that if you want to raise the quality you can but really that's probably only necessary for music and then you can click OK so now if you took this file and right-clicked on it and went down, this would change the file to an MP3. It would create another file that's an MP3. So you see this one just uh, became created. These are identical because mine was already an MP3. So I'm going to get one of them out of the way. I'm just going to drag this down here to my trash. It's going to ask me if that's OK. So I'm going to let that go. Now we're going to go get information again. And if it wasn't an MP3 before, it now will be. And so we can go into our details and update this information. So you give it whatever name you'd like to do, put in artists, okay, and you can fill in all of this information. You're going to want to change this to podcast, put the right year in there, and if you number your episodes, you might put in your episode number, 76 or so, and then you can add a comment down here that is a subtitle of sorts. And then you can move on and you can put that same information or different information here in the lyrics section. This can be any information that you want. Now you might put your website right up here at the top. And then add information underneath that, but that's up to you. You can look at what some other popular podcasts are doing and model yours after theirs. So if you click on artwork and come down here, you can then go find a piece of artwork to add to your podcast, your podcast album cover. All right. And when you're done updating this information, uh, you can click OK. <clears throat> Uh, there are some interesting options here. If you haven't already edited your volume up, you might bump your volume up so that people can hear you well. There's also the opportunity to change this down here so that it knows and it's uh, equalizing that you're doing a spoken podcast. So I'm going to click OK and you'll see this information has been updated. Now we can drag this out to our desktop or export it. Uh, usually I'll just drag this out to the desktop and then you'll see it's available and ready to be uploaded to your 
uh, with or your podcast hosting. That's how you use iTunes to do your tagging to use iTunes as your ID3 editor.